we started using Revit on a small uh, project for a technology center in upstate New York. And um, what we found out was that Revit allowed us to do a lot of things that, you know, which were so repetitive in, in CAD and which involved so much of time. So, you know, there was, it was like this new revelation. And uh, so we thought that Re Revit would be the answer to every single problem that AutoCAD ever had, and therefore you would just use Revit and not, uh, not AutoCAD. But, uh, and, and, and maybe that, that is the scenario, but like, you know, as a firm that's used it only for a year, I think uh, they both need to coexist in a way. Uh, I think Revit is, uh, is, is good when you kind of want to create, uh, you, you want to produce more drawings. I've found that AutoCAD is still um, the de facto tool that we use in the schematic and the pre-schematic and the schematic design phase because, uh, you know, sometimes like Revit is, is kind of getting so exacting that like, you know, when you put in a door and a window, then the boss says, no, no, the door is not going to look like that. So why did you draw it like that? While with, with AutoCAD, you can still keep it like, you know, two lines, simple and, and get the message through uh, without it being too, uh, you know, and then focus on the design part of it and not necessarily on the architecture part of it.